Hi everybody, my name is Liv, welcome back to Live Aligned. Today we have a nice, slow and gentle Pilates class that is perfect to do if you are sick, have been sick or you're just feeling really low on energy. Remember if you are feeling super unwell, definitely rest your body, but if you do feel like some movement today, this class will be perfect for you. Make sure that you take as many breaks as you need, you stay hydrated and you don't push it. So just take this class as you're able to today. Okay, we are going to start lying down on the back. So make your way all the way down onto your back and we're just going to settle into the mat. So bend your knees, bring your feet hip distance apart and let's take some nice deep breaths in and out, relaxing your arms by your side, melting your shoulders down, feeling the back of your head sink into the mat and just breathe. If you are having trouble breathing, if you're a bit congested, don't worry too much about the breaths today, just starting to relax into the mat and settling in enjoying this time for yourself. That's it. If it feels good to windscreen wipe your knees side to side, just take some gentle movements side to side with the knees. That's it. Big breath in and out. Release. Two more. Big breath in. Filling up the lungs. Exhale. Release and relax. Last one here. Inhale. Beautiful. And exhale. Wonderful. Okay, let's hug our knees in towards our chest. And just take a little rock side to side, massaging out through the lower back. Beautiful. Bringing yourself to a centered position. Let's extend the right leg and the right arm long and draw that knee and arm back in. And alternate, extending the left leg and the left arm long and return. So supporting ourselves, holding that opposite leg, just stretching out through the body as we extend the limbs. Keeping the head down, not pushing it too much today here. Just being grateful that we are able to get a little bit of movement through the body today. Letting go of all expectations you might have and just take it for what it is today. That's it, here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, gently place both feet down onto the mat with the knees in a bent position. Now we are going to extend the right leg up to the ceiling and just gently wrap your hands behind the right leg. Straightening the leg as best as you can, feeling that stretch through the hamstring. You can point and flex your foot or maybe make some circles with the ankle. We tend to get a little bit tight, especially if we have been quite immobile whilst being sick especially in the hips and the shoulders, lots of sitting and lying down. So just stretching and getting those body parts moving today. Release the grip of your right leg, place your arms by your side and bend your right knee into tabletop. Taking some gentle toe taps here. So tapping the right toes down and back. That's it, a slight activation through the core here. That's it, just a light tap down and back. Now if this is all you've got in you today, definitely stay here, but if you would like to stretch that leg out to a straight leg lift and lower, straighten out the leg, flex the foot as you sweep down, 
and point the toe as you lift the leg to the sky. Just getting a little extra stretch through the back of the leg there. Beautiful. Here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Crossing that right ankle over your left knee for a figure four stretch. Beautiful. Pressing that right knee away gently with your hand and sending the breath into that right glute and hip. If you would like to take the stretch a little bit deeper, draw those legs in towards your chest, threading your arms through the legs. That's it. And release. Beautiful. Let's do that on the other side. So place the right foot down onto the mat and extend your left leg up to the sky. Gently wrap your hands behind the back of your left leg and take that hamstring stretch. So don't force to straighten that leg just yet. Just take it easy. Maybe flex and point the toes or circle the ankle one direction and then the other. Feeling really heavy through the back and the shoulders. Beautiful. Release the grip of your leg and just bend that left knee into a tabletop position, moving into those toe taps. That's it. Slightly engaging through the core. You've got it. If you'd like to straighten out that left leg, coming into that straight leg lift and lower, you know where to go. Just point the toe as you sweep up, flex the foot as you sweep down. Pair up that breath with your movement, inhaling on one movement, exhaling on the other. All right, here for three, two, and one. Perfect, take that figure four stretch, crossing your left ankle over your right knee, and either staying there, gently pressing that left knee away, or drawing the legs in towards your chest, going a little bit deeper into that stretch. Breathing all the way down, into that left glute and hip and as you exhale melt a little bit further into that stretch beautiful releasing your leg from that figure four stretch and we'll just move into pendulum here we'll start with the feet down so bringing the arms out wide palms down bend the knees come up onto the toes and squeeze the legs together Keeping both shoulder blades in contact with the mat, lower your knees over to one side, lifting the opposite hip. And then scoop through the belly, draw the lower back down as you come through the middle, and lower the knees over to the other side. That's it. So you can keep the feet down, absolutely, but if you did want to float those legs up into tabletop, just lift the feet, knees over hips, shins parallel to the ceiling, Inhale as you lower both legs to one direction. Exhale to tuck that tailbone under, draw the lower back down and draw those legs back to the middle. Try and anchor down through that opposite shoulder. And keep both knees stacked one on top of the other. Getting a beautiful twist through the body as well as waking up those Core muscles. 
that's it here for five four three two and one good job hug your knees in towards your chest just take a little rock side to side beautiful releasing those legs and let's just roll over to lie on the left side we want our right leg on top for this one coming into your 90 degree clam drawing the knees in front of you in line with your hips and line up your shins with the front of your mat bringing your head into your bottom hand just to support that neck that's it now we're going to come into our clam at 90 degrees so lift the top leg completely and lower just a little activation for those glutes beautiful lengthen through the body trying to keep the knee the shin and the ankle aligned as you lift and lower good job Let's do another three, two, and one. Lift that leg to hip height. Moving straight into your bicycle leg, extend the leg forward, flex the foot, and sweep that straight leg back. Rebend the knee, extend, flex, and sweep back. Beautiful bend, extend, stretching out that leg, flex, Sweep back, squeezing the gluten hamstring. Starting to gently build a little bit more strength back into our muscles. But definitely taking it easy here, taking rests whenever you need to, regressing back to the first exercise if that's what you need to do today. Let's do another five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, moving into a quad stretch here. So just bend that right knee, grab a hold of your foot with your top hand and stretching out the front of your right leg. Send the breath to those tight spots. Beautiful, release the grip of the leg. Just place that top knee down onto the bottom knee, keeping the legs at 90 degrees. And we're bringing both hands behind the head now, elbows forward, lying on the side. Now open that top elbow up to the ceiling and all the way down to the mat as you look to the sky, opening up through the chest and shoulders. And then draw yourself back and forward. That's it, so we're just twisting through the thoracic. That's it. And folding forward. Beautiful, so try and keep that top hip directly above the bottom hip. We don't want to open the hips here, we just want to open the top half of the body so we get a really deep rotation. Now if you'd like to straighten out that top arm, that right arm, keep going with the movement, but just reach that right arm nice and long and then sweep it forward. You don't have to get that right shoulder blade down onto the mat as long as you're getting a nice opening and a great stretch. That's the point, that's what we want. Sending the breath into those tight areas. Exhaling as you'd like to relax. Let's do another five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Keeping the arms as they are, so the left hand behind the head, the right arm straight, just rolling onto the back. We'll take a short round of oblique curls here, so curl up and over towards that left knee, reaching your right arm to the outside of the leg, 
Then rest back down, reach the arm long behind you. Curl and reach and relax. That's it. Exhale, curl, rotating over to that left knee and reach back. Now, if you'd like to keep the feet down, keep the feet down, no problem. But if you do want a little bit more, lift that left leg to tabletop as you curl and reach over and then extend that left leg long as you reach the right arm behind you. Draw the knee back to tabletop as you curl and reach everything long. Beautiful. So really finding length through the body and then contracting and curling. Supporting the head with that left hand, keeping the chin tucked. Perfect. If you do want to take it a little bit further, keep the left leg straight and sweep that leg to the ceiling, reaching for the shin as you curl and coming down. That's it. So reaching a little higher if you've got that straight leg. Let's do another five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Coming on down. Now just rolling straight over to the second side. I'm just gonna come on up and lie on the other side so I can still face you. So we wanna be on our right side with the left leg on top and bringing those knees into that 90 degree position for your 90 degree clam. Lift and lower that top leg as one. That's it, lift the knee, the shin and the ankle and close gently. Stacking your hips, stacking your shoulders, lifting that right side waist away from the mat, finding length through the body. Big inhale and exhale on each movement. Great, moving into your bicycle leg. So next time you lift that leg up to hip height, let's extend the leg forward, flex the foot and sweep it back. Beautiful, bend, extend, flex and sweeping back. Keeping the hips and the rest of the body as still as possible, just moving that left leg. Gently drawing in the core. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Moving into your quad stretch, bend the left knee, grab a hold of the foot with the top hand, and just draw the foot back into the glute. Feeling that stretch through the front of your left leg. Taking deep breaths down into the hip flexor, into the quad. That's it, and releasing there, beautiful. Restack those legs so they're still at 90 degrees, bringing both hands behind the head and elbows forward. Now let's rotate, so open that left shoulder to the ceiling and then over to the mat, bringing the elbow with you and then roll forward again. That's it, so remember we're keeping our hips stacked, just opening up through the top half of the body. You might be really tight here, especially if you've been coughing a lot or having difficulty breathing. So just take it easy. Option to extend your top arm straight out, nice and long. So extending that left arm and really opening out to the side as you rotate and then reaching forward as you restack the shoulders. That's it. I like to exhale as I open and rotate just to really relax into that twist. Inhale to come forward. Here for three, 
two and one amazing rolling onto the back keeping the arms as they are so right hand behind the head left arm long feet down knees are bent oblique curl over towards that right knee and relax back down reach that left arm behind you beautiful curling up and over and reach and rest option to keep the feet down or to lift that right knee to tabletop as you curl up and over and extend that right leg long as you reach the arm behind the body drawing everything into the middle and reaching it out as you stretch out not focusing too much on technique today just finding what feels good in the body Option to keep that right leg straight and sweep it up to the ceiling as you oblique curl, reach for the outside of the shin and return back down. Just another 10 seconds here. Keep breathing. Beautiful and release, good job. Bring both feet down onto the mat and just rock those knees side to side gently. Okay, so now we're onto the stretching portion of our class. So just rolling over off to one side and gently pressing yourself up to a seated position. We'll find ourselves in our kneeling tabletop position. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips, stacking those joints and moving into your cat and cow. So inhale, drop the belly down, gaze up to the sky, opening up through the chest. Exhale, chin to chest, tailbone tucks and you round through the back, pressing your hands into the mat. Inhale, arch, exhale, round. And please feel free to take any extra movements in this stretching portion of class today so you don't have to stick to what we're doing your body might be calling for something a little bit different so just listen to it and go where you need to go transitioning into our heart melt stretch so keep your knees underneath your hips just walk those hands out in front of you and sink the chest down towards the floor resting onto the forehead or resting onto the chin if this stretch doesn't work for you lower the hips down to the heels bring the knees out wide to find a child's pose stretch inhale into the chest into the low back and exhale That's it, here for another five, four, three, two, one. Amazing. Melt forward to come into a sphinx stretch. So lower down onto the front of your body, extend your legs long behind you. And your elbows want to be shoulder width apart underneath your shoulders, palms pressing down into the mat, lifting the heart and the chest forward, opening up those shoulders. It's like you're trying to draw the elbows back to your feet. Lengthening out of the lower back. Beautiful and exhale, release. Cactus the arms out to a 90 degree position and lower the forehead down onto the mat. Just a little bit of a lower trap activation here to strengthen the back and open up the chest. So we want to lift the arms and the hands off the mat as we squeeze the back and release. That's it. So as you inhale, squeezing those shoulder blades down and back, lifting the arms and hands and release. We'll keep our forehead down on the mat today. Squeezing the legs together gently to keep 
the lower body activated, tailbone tucking under. Here for another three, two, and one. Beautiful. Lower those arms back down into a cactus. Now bring your left cheek to the mat and we're going to take a chest stretch for that left shoulder and chest. So you want to open your shoulders to the right side, pressing your right hand into the floor and trying to stack your hips. Now you can bend those knees for level one or you could bring the top leg behind the bottom leg, really opening up and leaning into that left shoulder and chest. If this one doesn't work for you, find a door frame or a wall and do this standing. It's just a little bit more restorative lying down on the mat. Holding for another five, take deep breaths in and out for three, two, and one beautiful bringing it down and switching sides bringing your right cheek onto the mat and pressing your left hand into the mat as you roll open to that left side stretching out the right shoulder and chest stacking your legs and hips or bringing the top foot behind the bottom leg and really opening into that that rotation there Trying to relax, relax the face. Holding for another four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, come back onto the front and coming into a narrow child's pose. So draw the knees in together, sit back onto the heels and reach those arms back towards your feet, palms up top of the head resting down onto the floor as best you can. Let those shoulders roll forward. Send that breath down the spine. Beautiful. Press into your hands and sit up nice and tall, slowly rolling yourself up. Sitting onto the sit bones, just swing your legs around out in front of you, bringing the legs hip distance apart and gently flexing the toes back. Sitting on the sit bones, we're going to take a few rounds of a forward fold in a nice dynamic way. So inhale, reach your hands up to the sky and just exhale, folding over your legs, having your knees as bent as they need to be and really relaxing into that fold. Inhale, rolling to a tall seat, reaching your arms up to the sky, and exhale, taking another fold. Beautiful, let's do one more. Inhale, reaching, lengthening through the body, and exhale, folding over those legs one last time. Let's hold here for five breaths. Beautiful, make this your last breath in and out. Amazing, sitting up nice and tall. Finishing with a mermaid stretch variation. So facing the long way of your mat. And let's bring the right leg in front and the left leg behind, sitting in like a Z sit position. If this doesn't work, stay cross-legged. Placing your right hand down onto the mat away from the hips and reach your left arm up to the sky so you're making a diagonal with your hands. As you exhale, rotate the shoulders over that right leg, plant the left hand down on the mat and then inhale, open the arm back up. Two more, exhale, bring the left hand down onto the mat, rotating through the upper body and inhale, reach the arm up to the sky. Last one, exhale, twist. Inhale, reaching the left arm to the ceiling. And then let's take a lateral stretch, windmilling over to the left side, reaching that right arm up and over, stretching out through the right side of the body. 
holding here for four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Sitting up tall and just switching the legs. We want our left leg in front and our right leg behind. Our left hand comes out away from our hips beside us as the right arm reaches up to the sky on a diagonal. Big inhale to expand, exhale to rotate over that left leg, placing the right hand down. And inhale, open back up. Beautiful. Exhale, rotate. That's it. And inhale, reach. Last one here. Exhale and rotate, bringing that right hand down onto the mat. And then inhale, reach that right arm to the sky. Windmill over to the right side, reaching that left arm up and over, taking a side body stretch. Here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing, coming back to upright. Okay, I hope you feel a little bit better after that one, maybe a little bit more energized or just feeling happy that you got your body moving today. If you did enjoy this one, please give the video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel so we can keep doing Pilates together. Look after yourself. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I can't wait to see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye for now.